The tractors are just a load of old junk and should be scrapped. John Popplewell and his son Mark say they risk losing their treasures and they've already had inquiries from all over the country. To the untrained eye, this looks like a scrap metal yard, even if it is a neatly arranged one. But to those in the know, this is the finest collection of vintage Ferguson tractors anywhere in the world. We've got a lot of visitors from all over the country coming to look at the different tractors, as well as the rare collection that we have got in the uh, buildings in the farmyard. We've got a full collection of the Ferguson tractors, uh, all the implements that Harry Ferguson ever made for them. But some villagers don't appreciate the finer points of this unique collection. They say it's an eyesore and they want it moved. This was a field. It's a nice, it was a nice field, so you tore the hedge out and dumped a lot of tractors here. And it's not, it is an eyesore, it really is. This was an open field or orchard with grass and fruit trees on it and that's all. The occasional um, half a dozen sheep, nothing more. When we bought the house in 1986, and now when we look out of our bedroom windows, this is what we see. And, uh, you know, it's just not, I don't think it's a right and proper use of this particular piece of ground. As well as collecting vintage tractors, Mark Popplewell restores and sells them. He says the original Ferguson collection must be kept intact and not sold off piecemeal. Planning officials say it's grown out of all proportion. My opinion is that uh, it could continue, but with suitable screening. And that's what we're seeking to do, really, to get control of the situation, because, as I say, over the last three or four years, it's a bit like Topsy. It's just grown and grown and grown. Councillors will decide tonight whether the Fergusons can stay on the site of the former orchard. But if the villagers get their way, the tractors could soon be leaving Lincolnshire for new homes in various museums. Some dramatic weather pictures for you now with Rob.